What's up, everybody? My name is Josh Vio, and I'm here with the crew from the 100. What's up, guys? Welcome to Comic Con. Hey, Thank Josh you very Lord. much. You. Yeah. <laughs> you guys had your panel today. A lot of exciting stuff. We're going to talk to get a lot of details uh, of, of what came out of that. But you know, for first for your character, you know, going to next season, you know, your character. I guess you could describe him as being a little unlikable, a little scummy, but very adaptable. <laughs> Speak right? for yourself, <laughs> sir. I, I think love he's, I think Murphy. He's, everyone but, loves but Murphy. After, I think he's a scum. You know, you <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> After getting a you know a love interest, this, she seemed to have a positive effect on you. Uh, what can you say? Women always uh, do. Yes. No. <laughs> about how uh, about how, how how will that change your character going to the next season? Um, I mean, it, yeah, sure. It changes the way he kind of will react to situations. I think more than anything, uh, he just has another person to look after because usually he's such a solo person and he kind of looks after himself. Mm -hmm. But adding a Mori into the mix, he really does care about her, and then I think he's gonna bring her along with him and make sure she's just as safe as he is. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. And uh, and Chris, you know, uh, you had a lot of, of, of heavy stuff happen, you know, like forced to, to your character's forced to kill his mother, you know, a lot of drama. Twice. 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 Uh, <laughs> me too. Yeah. Uh, I can read minds. You with, that. With Jasper, you know, uh, and lots of drama with Jasper. Um, so has that changed him? Will he be like, really different going into the next season? Well, I think most importantly, um, his romance with Harper is going to be much hotter than the Murphy Emery oh. romance for nope. sure. It's I mean, the battle of the romance. That's subjective. That's ours just wins. Guys ours are now wins. The romantic. In love. They yeah. have girlfriends. If wow. you can believe that these two faces are the romantic leads of the show, which is terrifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, CW is entering a whole new realm. <laughs> yeah. And it's about time. Yeah, yeah. it's time. Yeah, all it's right, time. all right. That didn't, you know, that didn't answer your question at all. No, at all. Actually, not that was actually my next question of oh, what's okay. going on with we'll the romance. We'll switch it next time when yeah, we come around. Yeah, yeah, we'll okay. <laughs> no, but no, yeah, talk about the romance uh, for, for both of you of like, not with each other, as we clarified, but you know, I'll talk about that too. <laughs> okay, no. is that happening? Is that coming? I don't well, know. Well, I mean, we'll no. ask Jason. You know. no. Listen, it's fluid, man. Good yeah. it's fluid. Anything goes. It's just a, it's free for all. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's a world where it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you know, we learned that you know, going into, into the next season, you're gonna have this threat that you can't fight. It's you know, the nuclear yeah. plants and all that chaos. Um, uh, so. What do they do? Like you, you can't travel in this world like you could. You know, That's true. how we can. Uh, are they gonna go like hang out on the water, like with Luna, who's now gonna be more involved in the show? Like, what's what's what can you tell us about how they're gonna, what are they gonna do to survive? Well, I mean, at first they have to make sure it's the truth that I established today. It is the truth. Then All they right. have to decide how and you know whether they can stop it, and ultimately they decide they they realize they can't, and then it's about how do we survive it, and it's about figuring out the various options. You know, there are, there's a scene early on in the season where they're sitting around and they're like chalkboarding the potential ways that we could save, you know, X number of people. And they have to save more than just themselves. They have to save everybody. Otherwise they failed. At least that's the way Clark looks at it, you know? Yeah. Um, someone like Murphy, Murphy is, like he said, he's an every man for himself kind of guy. He's yeah. try, he's gonna take care of himself. And his circle is now expanded to include Amori yeah. in a big way. Mm -hmm. um, and and Chris, doubled. you know Monty so is, you know he's. I think Monty's proven to be way more of a hard ass than we thought in the beginning. Like uh -huh. he in season two was right there with pull the lever. He didn't even hesitate. He was like got the thing together for Mount Weather to radiate everybody. There was no hesitation. He killed his mother twice, and so he's going to be probably hardcore looking for. Uh, he'll fight to the death. He'll fight to the very right. end. He's uh -huh. not going to succumb to the temptation to drink himself to death and have right. a party, which yeah. other characters will. So. Yeah. I've been working out heavily, if you can't tell. <laughs> you got a lot Underneath going on. It's, yeah. it's going to be physical. It's going to be a crazy season. Okay. You'll see. That's awesome. We're going to show the abs. Yeah. For Ooh. sure. Hello. Okay. So, uh, you know, at, at the panel, you showed really exciting teaser. Uh, the one, like, big new shot we got was that electrical storm cloud yeah. uh, of madness, like, overcoming uh, Polis. So, what can you tell us about, like, what is that like what's going on? Well, that is the, there's a dozen or so mega nuclear power plants. 30 years from now when the world ends in the timeline of the show, it's 30 years from today, the technology has evolved. They've created these nuclear reactors that have sort of solved the world's power problem. And they have like a hundred year uh, guarantee on them. And this is all stuff that we'll learn pretty quickly. I don't want to spoil too much. Okay, okay. But when they melt down all together after a hundred years, they create this cloud that we saw. And it does eventually, I think, probably hit Polis. That shot was something that 
for Comic Con. I wanted to create something new so you that we were to scare showing us something to death. Yeah, I mean, oh, okay. we put the monster in the water and a little, yeah. a little bit. You know, that's what that was about. But it's also we haven't started shooting yet, and so I was sitting there cutting this reel together, and I was like, God, it would be great to have something new yeah. for Comic Con. Right. And so sure. we got the money for that shot, and it was a very expensive shot that I justified <laughs> as like. In the finale, when that happens, we'll have the shot already. Right. So, okay. But it's got to be better still. It was a work in progress. Sure. Yes. Yeah. As you mentioned. Yeah. For the real. Cool. Very yeah. cool. Um, and also something that was mentioned that you two, um, despite where we're three seasons in, you have not actually spoken to each other on the show. We've never said words to each other. Right. He, he chased me up a ladder. This I did chase true. him up he's, a ladder. He's, uh, <laughs> I'm a little faster. Uh, I was so a little more fit. You had one, yeah, three a or head two, yeah. start. <laughs> you were not faster. I, you I had a head start. I was, it was my squat regimen. Also, my boots that I wear on the show are clunky. <laughs> Oh, that, that, that was That's it? That's why. Okay, thanks. No other reason. Okay. You weren't quicker than me. This is why we, do, we will this not have seen This is why we're not I'm watching it. This. I'm watching the chemistry to see if it's like, <laughs> yeah. do we want to write to it? I'm not sure. Yeah, he's already scrapping the sure. idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So no, thanks, IGN. Thank well, you, guys. Well, you guys are both paired. You guys can go on a double date and like finally break the ice and have nice. a talk. That could happen. Yeah. Yeah. Go to the movies. The movies. You know, they have movies. What you would we talk on about the on the, like, uh, Well, we wouldn't have to talk in a movie. That would be perfect. I always thought on the arc we had like one VHS copy of Runaway Bride. And, and one like, soccer match. That was it. <laughs> and one soccer match. One soccer match. <laughs> wow, wow. Uh, um, also, something huge that happened at the end was we got Lexa. We saw her in the City of Light. And uh, But then City of Light was destroyed. Yeah. And so was that just her big like goodbye? And for, yeah. for the show. You know, from the beginning, uh, I knew that we were aiming for that as an end point for the season, that Clark was going to go into the City of Light. She was going to need her friends on the outside. She was going to need some help on the inside. That help was going to be from Lexa. So it was always designed as sort of a big, uh, both a big reunion emotionally and romantically for Clark, a little bit of closure, hopefully, for her. I know it gave Clark closure. I, I wrote it, so yeah. I wrote those words somewhere in yeah. there. <laughs> and... Um, for the audience, hopefully, too. I know some people will never get closure for that yeah. character, uh, for sure. But yeah, I mean, it was also designed as a as a farewell, as a grand finale for her. Yeah, it so. was pretty kick-ass. It, it was yeah, a great, it was a great, it way was to a go great out. entrance and a great episode, little episode for her. Definitely, for sure. Definitely. Uh, for you guys, you know, there's a lot of new characters joining the show. Who are you most excited to like have scenes with and like some stories going with? I mean, as far like, well, I mean, there's that. No new characters that we can tell you about, really. Oh, I guess I yeah. meant to say there's a lot of characters returning who are like now regular. Oh, okay. Rowan is. Uh, I'd love some know. more scenes with Rowan with Zach, yeah. man. He's he's incredible. You get all the cool scenes. I feel like I've had scenes with almost everyone, which <laughs> I'm, I'm just very stuck with appreciative. Well, though. Murphy's <laughs> story last season was like Forrest Gump. He was everywhere. Yeah, he yeah, was involved yeah, in everything. every story. Yeah. I've which had a I story love. with just about everyone, and yeah. I'm very happy about that because we have so many talented actors on the show, and it's just it's great to just spread uh, spread the love, get around. What about you? I just talked to Raven and Jasper <laughs> the whole it. time. But so yeah, I, I'm gonna find Murphy this, this yeah. season. I'm gonna I would find like him. that. Wow. <laughs> and, and I won't kill him, but we're we gonna have a fight. I'll do some damage. Okay. <laughs> That's why I've been working out so hard scrap, over yeah, the hiatus. Little, yeah. Yeah. Schoolyard scrap. Yeah. We all, we also found out um, that originally Jasper wasn't gonna make it. It actually would have been yeah. the second time we almost lost yeah. Jasper. Yeah. Uh, so for. Or do, are we going to see you guys being like friends again? Uh, can you say anything about that? Like, where, where's what's the future for, like for you two? I mean, we en we end on a hopeful note. Who knows? There's no guarantee. But for the first time in like seasons, we see these two f feeling like they can really attempt to forgive one another. Mm -hmm. there, there's a sense of possible redemption. So I, I it would be nice as, okay. a, as a levity point. That's beautiful. On the show. Yeah. And you know, I, you're about to shoot that down. No, like, no. Oh, I God. just want to <laughs> clarify something about the ending because I said something at the panel where I I said something like it's. It was too dark even for me, uh -huh. and it was really a very, very dark scene. We've done a lot of dark scenes, yeah. obviously. I think some that were probably as dark as that. What I meant yeah. was it was too dark to end a season on. Like, I didn't want to leave the audience for eight months or however long we're off with that, right. especially after such a dark season. Sure, yeah. So it just felt like the right you know, time to pull back, and, and you know, it'll li always live in horror in my mind, right. um, that scene. But ultimately, you know, I think uh, it'll be a, the right call because we're going to get a lot of Jasper in season four. And, cool. you know, these guys definitely have stuff to work out. He's going to be very worried about his friend. Just like the audience sensed it, these guys sense it also. 
But you know, I think very quickly in reaction to the news that the world is going to end, he'll surprise us. Cool. Joe, very cool. Looking yeah. forward to it. Guys, thank you so much for coming and talking to us. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you very much. Cool. Thanks cool. for having us. We if love we... IGN. Yes, awesome. Yes. yes, endorsement. Okay, so that was the 100 here at Comic-Con. For more from the show, keep it here on IGN. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much.